There we go. Took a bit to get the audio back balanced. Sorry about that, folks. Twitch was twi twitching, and uh, that's what took me so long to pop up. But uh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Mortanius, and we are back with some more Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition on the Xbox Series X. Last left off, we had knocked out what I believe to be our last set of side missions. Having previously finished Pharos, main objective planet, and are now just in the process of heading to Vermeer, our currently last objective planet. So if you folks like what you see and want to see more of me as we continue on uh, our hunt for Rogue Spectre Saren Arturius, give me a like, a follow, subscribe here on YouTube or both. Drop a comment, check out some of the other playlists, share around some of the other playlists, bang the bell. Follow the links on my Twitch to get to my YouTube. Follow the links on my YouTube to get to my Twitch. And wherever you folks happen to be, have yourselves a good morning, afternoon, evening, or night, and get comfortable. Let's get into this. Time of recording is 1.15 a.m. Saturday, September 7th, 2024. Hmm. Did we go to each planet? If we didn't, it'd only take a few seconds. Mm. It might not have been surveyable. Now, I, I do believe there's some systems where you outright cannot survey. Signal must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. You got a clean drop, Commander. Clean move, Joker. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. Oh, you know the drill, huh? All right. Well, uh, we'll see. Leveled up at the end of last episode. Max out. Well, hold on. I'll add one to Bastion and add one to Singularity. Add two to Tally's shotgun to get her advanced carnage. And Rex. Hey there, guy. Max out his uh, combat armor for Master Shield Boost. Shotguns for Master Carnage. And add one to his barrier and warp. Better bits as I've used Rex, so. Add some things and some stuff for me to uh, put points into for him. Sorry about that. Had to readjust. We've got ourselves a Mako run, children. And local wildlife. Interestingly, non hostile. As you can see, it seems to have a singular eye up at the top. <laughs> that is interesting.
enough time and certain rules being followed and when things don't have starships. There's always that one. And I don't mean that specific one, even in the original. That one is always getting stuck there for some reason. Mm. So far the planet is beautiful. <laughs> Even in the church. And here we see the mating practices of the four legged flat tops. parked out there huh I ever noticed it Joker hmm all right this Vermeer run was always wild to me especially when it first came out I'm like, wow. I didn't expect the water here to be so immediately shallow. <laughs> kind of thought they were going to introduce some new mechanic where we were going to be swimming with the Mako or something. Ah! I was trying real hard to avoid wildlife casualties. Yeah, see, now the Mako shields function more like armor shields. Or like another kind of set of shields. Because, like, if it was the normal uh, original game, even on this difficulty, I wouldn't have lost nearly the amount of shield strength. But again, it would also take an extreme amount of time to regen. Trying to draw attention. Hit. Nope. Nothing like that splash damage. I cherish it. That's interesting. Why are we so blind right now? Mm. There we go. I'm like, what's going on here? I have my my combat scanner upgrades equipped. I should be able to see things even from the Mako. Is it important that I'm doing this? No. Just interesting that I can. Found it out a while back and couldn't let it go.
Any day now, Rex. I know you're old, but you know, sometime this century and all that. Oh boy, I don't know what they did with the coding, but uh, it is pain. Thanks. Good God. Something else to deal with a Russian Krogan in it. <laughs> so, okay, I'm like, no barrier, Rex? Nah, he, he would like to. He would like to. There's that barrier. And him just sitting there, getting himself killed. Colossus 9? Yes. Oh, a better Colossus 9. Less tech and biotic protection. But what he gains is better than what he loses. By far. Oh, it's heavy armor. That's why. Ah. Houston, we have no problem. Hmm. Now that swapped everybody over gear wise. The hell is all this? It's decently harder, but to lose almost 10 rounds, nah, I'm, I'm good. It's a Savant 9 for you, bruh. Joy. I know I do. combat exoskeleton up his resistances his durability and his melee damage even further and being that he's Krogan close quarters is not your friend oh he loves it up close and personal the Colossus it's been a bit of a bit
Alright, now we're going for my favorite technique. Sweep the leg. Hey there, guy. Yeah. I know, take it back to the schoolyard. It is unfair, isn't it? But, you know, life is unfair and all that. If life was fair, when the court is major, they would never have anything to worry about. But lo and behold, they had everything to concern themselves with. <laughs> if memory serves, you could pull that same trick in the original game as well. We've been there being four armatures out here. One of the spirit of love. I think about it, boy, futuristic drive-bys must be wild. <laughs> Going to something like two or three hundred miles an hour and you just light up a block. They were, sir, they were terrorists. They were, son, that's not how we do that in the core. It might have been how y'all did it in the reds. That ain't how we do that things in the core, son. Sniper shots. It can be frustrating, even though it's just a sniper versus this Colossus. <laughs> I never trust snipers not to be a nuisance. I feel that way, other than the obvious. Because snipers are my personal favorite soldier all around, so it's like, nope, I'll make no assumptions with snipers, even more so. There's the artillery, Shepard. Yeah, we'll deal with that. Shut it! Kills are just rolling in. See what they do. You better do that if you're going first, girl. You have shields. You don't have durability. I mean, it's perfect, honestly. I could sit on that shield, but they could still shoot through them. I can't, so. He is fighting another Krogan. Oh no, Max, that's a Geth Destroyer. All right, let's go.
cool. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Out. Ready to go, Shepard. Here it is, Jay. Gather around, children. Gather around. Need to read up on it. It's been a while. I had the uh, planetary information up there for you folks to check out later, and like uh, if you so chose to pause or like the speed read while it was up there. But I actually need to reread it again because what the fuck? Okay. I actually need to reread it again because uh, like I'm trying to remember. Like I, I think this is like a mostly water planet, or maybe uh, not a continental planet. Um, tropical planet. Because this planet does give a kind of tropical sense to it. Now, I'm not exactly an expert on tropicality. Is it a word? I don't think that's a word. I'm not actually an, ex an expert on tropical climates. But this does give a sort of fun in the sun kind of sense. I always had. Obviously, we have sort of areas you could consider to be like beaches and areas and whatnot. Uh, obviously areas with beaches that you are that you could consider to be beaches but all this water as well. All the way down to the floor, it gives a kind of sense of something along the lines of uh, that's the kind of loot I'm talking about, more along the lines of uh, being tropical, more tropical. Could come back to the Mako and shoot you. It's no consequence to me, bro, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to catch him before he got too far ahead of the explosive. Rex hit you in the face with that shotgun, and that was all she wrote, wasn't it? <laughs> That's it. Nothing between us and the Solarian camp now. No. Trying to eat them. Yes, you did hear me say that correctly. I take that for what you will. That should have been the last, well, other than uh, the stragglers. That should have been the last threats to face. Now it's just a matter of getting to the Solarian camp. Sorry about that. Readjusting. Yeah, I mean, you'd expect it, but I've never, I've never actually noticed how many vibrations I was dealing with while I was driving to Normandy using that booster. But I guess being on all them planets, it was kind of, I kind of like ignored it. <laughs> Or didn't connect it. All that armor she Touched ain't getting. The base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. 
All right. So long as he understands, I can't really have someone interfering in my duties. There's the oh. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Hmm. What's the situation? Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. Hmm. <sighs> Fantastic. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are <laughs> the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. It's not a matter of fault. We weren't able to properly discern what your message was. Our job was to determine what happened to you and, if necessary, to potentially complete said mission. I couldn't mission. understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Interesting. Is he here? Is he here? Have you seen him? No, but his Geth are everywhere and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. This is his facility, there's no doubt about that. Hmm. What kind of research is he up to? What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. Well, things just got extremely problematic. I don't take issue for the fact that there is a cure for the genophage. I personally consider the genophage an atrocity, but, um,. The Turians and the Salarians had to do something, but Genophage was too much, but Saren is not going to use this properly. He's going to use it as a tool for slavery. What's so important about curing this Genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the Genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. Hmm. Yep. He promised them possibility and a good fight. And not really thinking any further than those two things right now. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army, he'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He's fine. I've talked to him. Don't concern yourself. It's his issue is understandable. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Sorry about that. Bump the mic. Do your thing. Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things Go are see Rintola. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might actually. Just do it carefully. I'll be careful, but be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. Mm-mm. <clears throat> I'm concerned about Rex. Can we still trust him? 
It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. I wonder where Rex is being. He's really on edge. That'd be weird if he wasn't on edge. The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know Saren must be stopped. Rindola. Talk to you in a second, that guy. Or a girl, not sure. Okay, I wasn't sure if I can. Got my whole team here. I'm like, let me see if Greetings, I can swap human. out some gear. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. Yeah, and you have to be struggling. You just tell me what you have available. We have limited reserves. We requested a fleet to destroy Saren's base. Instead, they sent you. We weren't able to understand your message. Extremely garbled. But we knew it was important enough for you to try and get in contact with the council since it was on an emergency your channel. Your never came through. We'll just have to make do. That much is clear. Yep. You know, my, no, my ship is docked, or rather landed. I want to see if you can uh, do something with the requisitions, officer. Who knows how much longer y'all might be here. Let me see what you have. What little there is. Mm. <laughs> it is just my fault, ain't it? Our Molly Council license. Metagel upgrade, so now I can carry more Metagel. Yes, sir. Hey Rex, you 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 remember how I'm the one who gave you that shotgun? Remember? I remember. Yep. But at least if you succeed, you know you succeeded, and people get to go home and don't have to think about it. I've been on this mission far too long. My brood won't even recognize me. Yeah, it's pretty wild. A Salarian over the age of forty is an extreme rarity. We better succeed, human. We still feel the time of the rebellion. Oh, I don't doubt that. I am worried that Rex's allegiance to you may be waning. Well, he has allegiance to his people. And once again, if he didn't, he'd be weird. We just need to make sure that that allegiance is where it needs to be and the way it needs to be. He shouldn't stop looking out for his people. But how he does it, that's another conversation. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. And like I've already stated, he'll use this as nothing but a weapon, a tool, a leash. And it will work. It will work. Your species, genocide, from a drug, or from a virus, that's been going a thousand plus years as you stated once. No, it'll work. It already is working. Who knows how many Krogan they've already impregnated because of this. It is working. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon. And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Hmm. I want to see something. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren. Tools. Is that what you want for them? No. We were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. 
I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Mm, I was right. That actually helped. Um, the point where we collected his family armor, that's what made him bring up that whole, hell, you did more to me, for me than my family ever did. He won't always bring up that line unless you have the armor. The reason why I mention it is because those last choices I made, the three choices weren't even Paragon or Renegade. They were simply the standard color. But they're usually Paragon or Renegade. I wonder if they changed that for the remaster or if it was because I had got his armor so I had kind of solidified the potential. But if you don't succeed here, Ashley or Caden will shoot him and they will kill him and you will lose him. This is a genre of game where you lose companions. Watch that Krogan of yours. Who knows what he'll do once you're free. He's fine. I'll keep him with me. It'll make it that much easier. This facility is well protected. It must be very important to Saren. Mm -hmm. Very. Must be very persuasive to change the Krogan's mind. Uh huh. He sees the wisdom in what I say, and he understands. Like he said, his people were slaves once, and they were neutered. This mission is too important to get bogged down by one Krogan. True. And in the end, sure, they needed to be stopped, but the genophage was rough. That was a that was that was that was dirty business. Only a fool accepts the word of a Krogan. Only a fool shoots his allies slash assets. Krogan may change his mind when he sees the extent of the facility. He may. Or he may not. And what happens if he doesn't and then saves your ass in the process of being Blinded by the awe and majesty of his people living again. These Solarians seem pretty tough. I just hope they hold up under pressure. Uh, it's hard to say. They've been here for a while, but I don't think they've had any real conflict. I suspect they've been mainly recon and nothing just else. Say the word. I'm ready to go. Yep. With all these defenses, Saren must be hiding something big. Uh, yeah. Among a Croton breeding, breeding facility, yeah. I will fight with fire for you, Commander. That's what's up. Hello again, human. If you need supplies, I suggest you take them now. I should go. Goodbye, human. Speak with the captain when you're ready to go. I figured you'd all want to say something about my persuasiveness with the Krogan there. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. Hmm. So you have an idea, do you? I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Hmm. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Mm. Looking for a structural weak point, huh? Where would this be? I'm assuming you've already done the math. Where do we for take it. the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on right. foot? We don't have enough men. We don't, but that means we're gonna have to supplement forces. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, mm -hmm. you can sneak your shadow team in the back. Shadow, you say? I can dig it. I actually forgot this segment. Hmm. <laughs> it's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. 
Hmm. It's a good idea. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Only when they speak to you, Captain. Only when... Or... Yeah, come here. Uh, Chief, only when they speak to you. Where is... Who would better suit this particular issue, Captain? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Hmm. All right, Ashley, do your thing. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Merely a couple of, well, a few questions in a statement. Williams, this is not Eden Prime. Do not do anything stupid. The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. Hmm. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. Yeah, I kind of figured. What are the other teams designated as? Shadow seems clear enough. What will the other teams be called? Eigor, Manovai, and Jeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. I agree with that. Good way of thinking. Let's go over what we Give know. Give me a quick rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. Disable the AA gun so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. Geothermal taps, huh? All right. And what type of nuke is this? I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. Well. I'm ready to go then. Ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Say what you gotta say, Williams. It's alright. Is there something you wanna say, Chief? I, I don't know. It's just weird. Going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We're still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. 
or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden rats. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Hold the line. Vidable Cloaca. <laughs> Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Affirmative. Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Solid copy. Let's go, folks. Shadow is on the ground. Shadow is on the ground. Time to get some attention. Final by is under coordinated crossfire. Check the long range turrets left of the guest target. Thought I had a second. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been so blatant. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Chief Williams with Igor team. Manovai, Teato teams, move. Time to get to the Like them air shots. Good up there, Rex. Oh, we 
done. Okay. Sorry about that, had to readjust again. Get the communications disrupted. <laughs> All right, that should have made things easier for everyone else. Something scrambled, they're Light up, link disrupt, destroyed. It destroyed the satellite that was on top of the building. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. It's all that Okay. He destroyed this, which also took out the satellite. Other uh, dish. Sorry. It's fine. It's cute. I mean, it's not like I wanted to do it. Aircraft anything. heading perimeter stations to recharge. Bunker up before they come back. Aircraft, you say? Hey, 
Rex, I didn't know your dad was a glass maker. That recharge bay, huh? Yeah. Ash is gonna be happy about that one. Understood. That was one group of flyers. Though hard to heal when you're burning, ain't it? areas that had flyers I could have sworn I figured I'd let them work their way around. I mean, and I figured she'd decide not to listen. And I figured Rex would decide not to listen as well. Yeah, you know. Yeah, y'all know that whole, that whole chestnut.
tallies down, huh? Shocker. Had a couple of tests to run as well. See if I could do a couple of things with the AI in this game, but I can't. The original one, yeah. I keep seeing it. I love the remaster, but at the same time, there are some painful aspects. Hold the line, man. Hold the line. Hold the line. to base security. We can pop the alarms yep. from here. Maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us. But they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. We'll deal with it. They're already dealing with an army. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Doctrinated. Barriers up. Figure why not look for loot. Right? Right. Rex can take care of himself. If he can't, I'll tally, I'll finish it off. If they can't, well, I'll pick up the scraps. Mm -hmm. Gel. Wonder if that's because of the upgrade or because I, well, I mean, it's obviously because of the upgrade, but I don't know if it was gave me two extra. I can't remember. I think it only gives one extra. So it was one extra and then one based on me having consumed one earlier. Yep. Him your enemy in, but not so much that they feel there is no avenue of escape, lest they become desperate.
Gotta love the fact that Sun Tzu's The Art of War is probably universal. <laughs> it's been years since I read it. What I just did was basically paraphrase. Oh, you're not a cat. wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Ganto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? Yeah. No, that was just us, brother. The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat. And far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There isn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envied them. Yeah, we had to kill some of them. And I don't doubt you envy them. What do you know about this indoctrination you speak of? Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms. Progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. It turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that. Please, let me out. That's the issue with this segment right here. This music is horrible for this conversation. But this whole segment is based on it. Even when I'm not in combat. Even when there aren't any more enemies. I think I can trust him though. He seems to have his wits about him. At least so far. How that turns out later on. I can't say but. I'm opening your cell. But then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast. Hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, humans. And good luck. You'll need it. Good luck to you too, dude. They made it a point to show them. So they're gone. These look docile. Their minds are gone. Oh, this is no way to treat a prisoner. Kill them, sure. But leave them like this. Hell yeah. But let them out. Even if they don't die, at least give them the opportunity to do something. Open the doors. Give them a chance to outrun the blast. Are you sure, Shepard? At best, they might hurt themselves. If there is any sense left in them, they might be directed to harm us. They may be. But it's better to die on their feet than on their knees, especially in a situation like this. They may attack us. They may not. Let them out. They won't hurt us. Very well. At least the blast will eventually end it. Yeah. It calls. I know this phone. I am only what it wants. It never sleeps. It is empty. Yeah. I mean, they're gone, but as you know. At least they have a chance. They 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 get to choose. Not everybody gets that luxury. They get to choose. Do they have the ability to choose anymore? Extremely debatable. But they seem to have the ability to choose their words, so there is at least that. Completely different concepts, but there it is. What do you want? I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Oh, shit. Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Meno Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG, sir. Captured well on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, sir. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I just said anything to get out and get some payback. It's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? Extremely jittery. He is completely foobar. Beyond that, his crazy might be useful, but his crazy more than likely doesn't discriminate. What do they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper? Who knows? I just need out. Something's not right here, Shepard. 
incessant whispering on his shortening temper. Of course nothing's right here. More than likely he's gonna make us kill his ass. But at least he'll go out and it'll be over. If we don't let him out, he's as good as dead. We have to do something. Yes, leaving here would be bad. Very bad. It's too small and the noise just won't go away. Whispering is loud, you know? I need to get out. Let me out. Interesting. Set him free. He could help us. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. I should be. I hear them over and over. Why are they repeated when they are so simple? So damn simple! Him and the other snapped. That indoctrination put in that work. Not a surprise, but there it is. Trying to figure, I can't remember what that elevator was for. And that's what that was. Oh, yes I do. I actually thought this area was the area we were running up on. Sorry, scientist. What is going on here? Where have they gone? Where is Sarah? <laughs> oh. Rex. Y'all just letting us get ran up. No. Stay back. I'm kind of having fun over work. here. This is the glorious salvation of my species. You will not destroy the work we have started. What? Why are you using the shotgun and you using the pistol? Ooh, game. like my stick was pulling me down while Rex was down. <laughs> Dr. Dreas. Fast approaching max inventory. A space. It's crazy as hell. I'm still using Colossus 7. Probably that bring down the sky DLC.
Ah, I'm tripping. So that is the way forward. adjustments to make. So what's over here? I do not remember. Oh, I think I do. Okay. Can't go that way yet. <laughs> That's funny. Wait, what? Okay, yeah, I shouldn't be here. I I've never even had that happen. That was that is weird as hell. before it's too late and you would happen to be let's hear who are you what do you want Ranath the Noctis neurospecialist but this job isn't worth dying over or worse you think the indoctrination only affects prisoners sooner or later Saren will want to dissect my brain too and what makes you say this slash what are you talking about I thought this was a breeding facility not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you didn't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? Interesting. Said this position is a little more permanent than uh, you thought. What, what, what did you get into this thinking you were going to be doing? Did you know you were going to be experimenting on people? Did you know it was going to be against a lot of their will, probably? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. Yeah, my phone about bumping the mic right there. Um, hmm. What do you mean when you say collateral damage? What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it. Like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Well, that means it will happen to you. <laughs> hmm. What is Saren's interest in this? Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from hmm. the ship. 
It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Hmm. So what about this signal? Tell me signal? more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom the subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. Hmm. All right, you can go. Don't give me a reason to regret this choice later. Or I'll give you a reason to regret yours. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you wanna make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Ah! <laughs> Good music, but it's too loud during like dialogue. Pisses me off. Shepard, look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. All right, let's see what it has to say. What have we learned? I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. Interesting. So you're the ship, huh? You're alive. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. 
you wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Hmm. Well. I understand. I don't stand alone. The galaxy will deal with you if need be. And apparently, need be. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. A cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Damn. Should have brought Liara here for this. So you built them. I have a few ideas as to why, but why do so? Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. This is true. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. Yeah, it's horrific, but it's a pretty old school method. Teach your enemy your techniques, your knowledge, but not the deepest aspects of that knowledge. You have a bunch of back doors and the ability to recognize what you see extremely easily. What is your purpose? What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Hmm. Well, I want to try and grasp. So, uh, who created you? Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. I don't know what the hell just happened. I just lost signal for a second. All right. Are you the only one? Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. We will stop you. And if need be, we will fight to the very last man. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. trouble speak hit me joker that ship sovereign it's moving I don't know what you did down there but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half it's coming your way and it's coming hard you need to wrap things up in there fast there's nothing we can do here idea Shepard hmm we're done let's, let's head go. to the breeding facility Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke
Returning from your position, Jay Ato. Looks like Shadow picked a sensitive spot. Williams, head them off. Hold them. <laughs> yeah, we kicked a nice sensitive spot, all right. <laughs> Shotgun to the back was interesting, Rex. Oh, still, if you would. To me. Okay. I always have to remind myself this is down here. That's too bad. It usually has pretty good gear. Or is it this one? As much as it might be random, it usually did tend to be pretty good gear. But we pretty much got all those, so. Tis what it is. Okay, I had to have taken two shots from that. Because that made no sense. Jesus. Should have went ahead and saved. Didn't think I'd need to concern myself, but apparently, here we are. With me needing to concern myself.
is something I need. Whoa, that was instant. The second I came out of the menus. So yeah, I think that's what happened. I got sniped and shot earlier with, with uh, Carnage. I, I was hoping I wouldn't need to bother saving right here. That's why I didn't. Now I gotta do this all again. Jesus Christ. I'll go ahead and save this time since these snipers seem to be out of nowhere. I mean, snipers and all that. My barrier was actually active at the time. There we go. Now I'm curious. Yeah, that's what I thought, assholes. Kill them, be on the lookout for the drones. Sally, really woman. Shit. to the shotgun. Would have been less heavy.
degree in the user shop. Folks, I'm finna have to uh swap power sources real quick, huh? Kinda of surprising, but it looks like these battery batteries are about to die. I might end up needing to readjust my mic, unfortunately. Give me just a second. that need to readjust. back in business. Yeah, okay. That's it. We need to clear the gap and set those charges. Actually, you could take him. didn't register it on my screen it is hacking it wore off before it was already trying to snipe us. Charge is set. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. Alright! Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Yeah, that's what's up. Is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? Loud and clear. What's up, Williams? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Can you get them, Normandy? Get them out of there, Joker. Now. Negative. It's too hot. Can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. All right. Up to the AA tower. Move. No point in breaking up a team. Up oh, 300. Okay. Oh no. Well, they won't let me exit out until I do some of this. Okay.
I just need places to put stuff. <laughs> Whoa. Actually, no. No, I don't. Never mind. What I need to do is just stop going into this menu. I'll continue to pick stuff up. I just need to stop going into this menu. got stuck. <laughs> All right now. probably did okay I even lifted him program and physics thresholds do not mix well Status? Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. Shit. What the hell are you doing, Alenko? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. It's bad, but the only real choice is to stay with the bomb. Otherwise, all of this becomes pointless. Hmm. Catch you on the flip side, Chief. Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I. I... You know it's the right choice, LT. Not gonna lie, I'd like to be able to go back, but I doubt you'd have the time. You might, but that would depend on how much time the, the bomb actually is set for. I'm sorry, Ash. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing.
There we go. Jesus. Hate when it happens. He needs to pay for what he's done to everybody. On that, we can all agree. I'm just not gonna go into my equipment. If I do, it's gonna force me to break stuff down again. And why you constantly wanna hack the small, weak ones, woman? Take the juggernaut. Take the demon. It was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Then tell me what I need to know. Make your remaining existence useful. And tell me what it is we deal with out here. Why are you doing this? You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? Petty. Freedoms, huh? It's always those people. What is it? People will always trade privacy for security. As long as in the end it works out the way you want to, you don't really care, do you? Hmm. That is uh, an extremely foolish notion. Because in the end, all you do is buy time. And when the t clock strikes 12, They'll do to you what it is they did to everybody else with you at their side. Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives can be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign, though I was aware of the dangers. I had hoped this facility could protect me. Sorry about that, bump the mic. So even with that knowledge, you do not trust this thing in the slightest bit, which is what we've been coming across this whole time, especially with that Rana Thanoptis. Study and indoctrination probably what he was concerned about the Thorian for or the form of indoctrination seeing if he can do something about it you're a 
You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. For now. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation <laughs> of an allied servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. It already has, otherwise we wouldn't be sitting here arguing like this. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god. The pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. Insulted. Yet the way it spoke was as if it was deified. As if it was some higher being. Yet it's insulted when considered a higher being by machines. Maybe because they're tools. Soulless in their own way. AI, sure, but soulless. Hmm. What about this conduit? Tell me why Sovereign needs the conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The conduit right. is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. So you know it's coming. You know it's going to be a wrap the second that you find this conduit. Hmm. Yet you still believe that you have shown yourself to be useful enough to keep around after the conduit has been acquired. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. So Sovereign needs you now. Best thing you can do is join me, man. Do what we can to stop this. As as, as long as we can, as best as we can. If doc if indoctrination does function the way we've seen and Ronathanopsis's information has been stated, you don't have much time, bro. Best thing you can do is join us. Together we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions uh -huh. cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. I would agree in a basic sense, except you just stated once you find this conduit, it's a wrap. Even though you've done everything so far, which you would think would have ingratiated yourself into the Reapers enough to keep you alive. Hmm. I doubt he's doing this for himself. Somewhat for himself, sure. But I doubt he's doing this for himself. You were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. 
He's afraid. And that Reaper's gonna use it against us and him if it already hadn't. He was using biotics. Got some people guarding the bomb. Uh, I said barrier. throw that grenade to his face. Hey, what's that? just leave her down there we didn't just leave her down there I had a choice to make and I made the best choice of a bad situation Williams knew the risks going in she gave her life to save the rest of us but why me why not her don't let survivors guilt take hold of you my choice has nothing to do with a personal bias, man. You're both members of my team. You're both my friends. It wasn't your call, Olenko. I had to choose. I chose you. But if I'd done my job, you wouldn't have had to make that call. Once again, don't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Sarek. Simple. Yes, sir, I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. It may be best to try now. Especially with my mind being kind of, or everybody being emotional right now, it might actually make it easier for you to root around through all of this. I don't know. Might make it harder. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. <laughs>
incredible. I... I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. What did you say? Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. Interesting. So they were at least trying to warn people. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. Interesting. You knew of that the Mew Relay led to Ilos. It only lead to Ilos? How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mew Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Milos. Hmm. Well, okay. We have a target. And we need to hurry. If he saw that, then who knows how long he's been trying to get there. He may actually know where this all is. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew relays inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. We'll be careful where we have no real choice but to do this. We know it, we know what he's doing. This has the potential to trigger war, but... One ship, one crew? Ghosts? Yeah, I think we can do the it. The conduit's on Ilos, and that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Uh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Okay. Go ahead. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a combo nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. They need to be informed of this, Joker. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. Well said. But at the end of the day, they wouldn't have been serving him. He's just another tool. Serving his, uh, apparently his true master. His ship, Sovereign. The Krogan would have served Sovereign. A Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Boy, y'all don't have body cams in the 22nd century or what? Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. Valid argument. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Interesting. Sooner or later, you're going to have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a Spectre. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. And there it is. It's not like they're willing to ignore. They have a galaxy to guard. So they need to be sure what choices they make are actually the right choices. But that's also why the Spectres exist. In case we actually do see an actual problem. 
to deal with it. Doesn't make it perfect, but it's something. But, uh, it's gonna be the end of episode 22 of, uh, Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition on the Xbox Series X, folks. If y'all like what you see and want to see more of me, uh, give me a like, uh, follow, subscribe here on YouTube or both. Drop a comment, check out some of the other playlists, share around some of the other playlists, bang the bell. Follow the links to my Twitch to get to my YouTube, follow the links to my YouTube to get to my Twitch. And wherever you folks happen to be, have yourselves a good morning, afternoon, evening, or night. And God bless you.